By this point in my life, I was struggling to stick to something. I ended up in college but never followed through it and didn't even bother showing up after being accepted. And obviously, I had the habit of walking out of my high school early. So it was difficult for me because I had gotten used to doing things that way. That was until I ended up going on a 15 week program with the Princess Trust in Wales. What is the Princess Trust? It's a program where you go on to do many different activities and other stuff that basically, in theory, helps you gain knowledge and experience to get a job a little more easily. Did it work? Hell no, but it was still an experience. An experience I won't ever forget. When I say I almost fucked up, I mean exactly that. This is what happened by week three of the 15 weeks. We had a residential week where we went away for the four days to do some outdoor teamwork activities like trying to make a floatable thing from logs and rope and go on a three or five mile walk, which for my fat ass was difficult as hell. Anyway, I was feeling annoyed and slightly homesick and I lashed out at the team leaders. Keep in mind, both of which are former army sergeants, so they were tough bastards. Luckily for me though, they knew how to not overreact and make situations worse. What made things worse was the fuckers had the cockiest grin on their face, which pissed me off that day even more. Funny to think about now, but back then, yeah. If I was going to leave the program, it would have been at the end of that week. Yet, I made a promise to myself and everyone else that I was determined to make it through the whole thing. By week four, I came back with a new hairstyle, rocking a mullet like a boss, and a personality change, and I never looked back at that debolical of week three. I finally started to find my place in the Princess Trust, and I'd be damned if I allowed myself to fuck it up. Surprisingly, for three months, hardly nothing major happened, but a lot happened. We went on a three-day camping trip for one of the weeks, no idea which week it was. Fairly certain it was something like week nine or week ten. However, it was during that time, I think it had been the residential week, that we went caving. All of us on that team had a choice of what to do, and when I heard caving, I thought, oh cool, we're going to be going into caves and shit, hence why I voted to do that. Little did I know that caving meant strapping into caving appropriate equipment and wriggling through extremely tight spots, so tight that anyone with claustrophobia would have a really, really difficult time, but I was committed to it. That was definitely something. It was also during this time that I had also helped clean up a garden area for an elderly people's home and put on a bingo and all out for them while handing out tea and biscuits, which was such a nice memory. Getting a chance to see them all smile and laugh, getting a chance to hear their stories when some of them didn't have anyone to talk to was a highlight and one that I will cherish. It was also during this time that I learned that I had the shot accuracy and the first touch of Lionel Messi, except not being able to hit the back of the net when it came to footy. Okay, maybe that's a massive over-exaggeration, but my first time shots were really good. Getting the ball passed to me and then banging them towards the goal with my right foot, only for them to hit the crossbar or the sidebar every single time was something I would have gloated about a little. I remember being so close to actually scoring a goal, but one of the girls on the team was in the way and the ball smacked a square flat in the side of the face. I was like, oh shit, running up to her to see if she was okay. And thankfully, she was, and we carried on playing. I was always asking the lads if they wanted to play some footy during the lunch breaks. So much that footy became my thing out of all of us on our team. And by week 15, I was exhausted and wanted to dip so hard, but I knew I was so close to completing it all. I was the only one on the team left that had 100% attendance, which, for my track record, is fucking wild. I came close to not having 100% attendance a couple of times over the course of the 15 weeks. From the time in residential to when we had to do a three mile run on a Sunday. Despite the usual days being a Monday through to a Thursday, I was forced to do a Sunday run if I was to keep my attendance at 100%, which I did because I wasn't about to allow that to be the reason why I fucked everything up. I ran for a total of around 6 minutes and thought, fuck this, and I walk in the rest of the way. And I actually ended up being either dead last or runners up for that spot. I ended the 15 week program with 100% attendance. And I could not have done it had the team leaders not believed in me. And had the other team members be so cool. Despite the fact that none of us have spoken since 2013. You all hold a special place on my heart. And I will look back on them days and smile and laugh. With that being said, Team 149, thank you so much.